What's going on guys, your boy Uja, and of course we are back once again. Hope you are doing great today. So speaking of doing great, I feel like Dragon Ball Fighters is about to be on the come up, especially with their character choices for DLC, because they have definitely been paying attention to who people want. And considering that we're about to react to Super Baby 2, or what I like to refer to this character as simply baby vegeta so i definitely wouldn't have imagined them to just put the normal blue form head ass baby look that they you know that that's like one of the original baby forms right i definitely w wouldn't have thought for them to put that character in obviously the more iconic and remembered baby vegeta is exactly what they're putting into the game in super baby 2 i don't as as a as a person that is very Dragon Ball oriented, I mean, I'm sure most of you already know me for my Dragon Ball content from the past, right? I can tell you that being a big fan of the franchise and being so involved in it, and I'm actually one of the few that don't mind GT, right? I don't ever remember them calling Baby Vegeta Super Baby 2. And I'm, I'm kind of one of those that is kind of like in a Twilight Zone right now because everyone's acknowledging it as Super Baby 2. And I'm just like, where, where did this name come from, right? It, sound, it definitely sounds like a video game thing. But again, guys, this is Baby Vegeta nonetheless. He is in Dragon Ball Fighters. We're about to freaking react to it. And uh, this trailer is looking like it's kind of long. It's it's not going to be memed on this time around because normally these trailers end, end up being like freaking like 10 seconds anyway because... That's how Bandai's been doing them. So either way, 2 minutes, 12 seconds, we're going to get right into this. And I think there's a nice surprise in this one. I haven't watched it yet, but I did see an image of the rest of the DLC. So let's get right into it. Oh, okay, I like how they're doing the trailer so far. Ooh. Oh, my man Broly Kefla. GT Goku. Exterminate all Saiyans. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yo, he looks so clean. Super baby too. Like they're legit with this. Yo, he's huge. Oh. Oh, he's fine. He got hidden missiles. Oh my goodness. That's fire. Oh. He's not done? <gasps> what? He does a... Oh, D. This character's crazy. He literally goes golden ape. That is the illest windscreen I've, I've seen for this game. And next to Broly's, of course. January 15th. That is... Awesome. Jean! Ah! Ha! Yes! Oh my god, that's awesome. Fire. Fire. What a season pass. Jesus. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. I am very excited, man. I gotta. I've been meaning to get back into Dragon Ball Fighters for the longest time. I played a little bit of Roshi. I actually reacted to Roshi. If you missed that reaction, definitely check that one out. But um, I played Roshi for a little bit. It was kind of fun, but then I just kind of fell off on Fighters once again and fell right back into the norm of the games that I normally do keep up with. But I've been meaning to get back into Fighters because as it is, I do have it on both my PlayStation and and on steam which means that if i with the pc version that allows a lot of modding so you know that's something that i've been wanting to do that's something you want to see here on the channel definitely let me know i do have some mods downloaded i think i have to find them because you know i moved and everything but neither here nor there i am wow i'm very impressed with how baby vegeta's move set is man like he looked like he's gonna be a super fun character loads of things in his arsenal but dude the best part about his whole entire kit 
is the fact that his level three is the golden Ozaru, son. The golden A form, I, I almost forgot he did that. That's one of the, the biggest things about GT was that we had a golden ape in Baby Vegeta, and that is literally what had what they had to bring out Super Saiyan 4 somehow out of Goku. Um, damn, man, that's crazy. I'm, I'm, man, that's awesome. And then, of course, the, the whole cherry on top, which might could be arguably the, the, the real best part of this whole entire trailer, is the fact that my oh, man Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, let's keep in mind, this is the first Super Saiyan 4 character that is playable in Dragon Ball Fighters, Goku appears as a drag as a Super Saiyan 4 as a level 3 Dragon Fist for the GT Goku. And there is no Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta unless you're modding your game that th there is no Super Saiyan 4 in the game until now. That is awesome. I'm super excited to to get some more GT love in Dragon Ball Fighters. And that's another thing I definitely have to point out to you guys is that a lot of people like to hate on GT. A lot of people like to say and bat and say it's trash and bash it and all this thing. But honestly, at the end of the day, there are certain things from GT that you can't ignore to the point where they are in the game for a reason. They're popular characters. People love them. And yeah, and to that degree, you have to appreciate GT for at least that much. And plus. It has some of the best songs. The Dan Dan Kokoro Hikare Teku. That song is fire. If you don't have that, definitely get that. That's part of. Uh, you could actually download that. Um, um, as uh, what is it? It's like one of like the the music packs that the, the game offers as a separate DLC. It's worth it to be honest. They didn't include the anime music. Um, the Japanese ones. They as far, as weirdly enough, they don't include the um the American stuff. But I don't know. Neither here nor there. I'm just here to pretty much tell you guys my thoughts on this trailer. I thought it was fire. I really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to January 15th. That's next year, baby. We're going to get that super baby Vegeta. All right. And then hopefully, I'm I'm hoping within like, you know, two months. I'll give it until March. All right. March, I'm hoping, is when we can start playing as Go, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And I'm also wondering... If they're going to get another season pass, like a Fighter's Pass 4, or if they're just going to, you know, at that point put out, like, a Fighter's 2 at that at that rate, you know, with more with more characters. Because I know that there's a lot of other characters like Omega Shenron. Like, Omega Shenron is someone that people was predicting for a while or were speculating for a while, that requested for a while. And there's, you know, some others like Bojack, whom I can see being in the game, um, and aside from maybe any other characters that you know you could definitely see being playable in this game because not gonna lie a lot of people have been you know kind of imagining certain characters that we never necessarily didn't really see fighting all that much you know because at those are the characters that are the most unique in in the fact that since we've never seen them fight they usually get a very unique and very creative move set um, and some moves can obviously be inspired by other fighting game characters in just, you know, the overall spectrum of fighting games. But that is kind of like what I wanted to point out is that, you know, even with like characters like Bulma and Chi Chi, I mean, Chi Chi's been in other fighting games for Dragon Ball. But, um, you know, again, like characters like that, they would have a completely thought up, customized moveset that the the game developers would they it would be at their mercy for the most part. So I feel like if they ever put Bulma in the game, she would definitely have to be in like some she would, she would, she would have to be like some kind of Tron Bond character. If you don't know who Tron Bond is, definitely check out some Marvel versus Capcom gameplay because Tron Bond is basically a character that's in like a whole robotic suit and fights in that the entire time. And I think that uh, Bulma would be really crazy because she would just be using all her different capsules to get this kind of move and that kind of move. And, you know, I mean, she, it would be, I think it would be really cool. That's some food for thought. Um, but at this point, I'm just rambling. So, again, I'm very much looking forward to Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'm looking forward to playing the new updated content. And, again, guys, please, 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 if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Fighters action from myself then please let me know because if you guys know, let me know more so at least for my streams then that that makes me feel like okay i definitely gotta prioritize this and i gotta you know redownload i get the mods on because we got some power ranger mods we got some other you know super saiyan 4 mods other form mods you know what i'm saying like 
it, the game can get crazy. So, all that being said, guys, please let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. The supporting links are going to be in the description as always. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Join my Discord. All the fun stuff. Make sure that you are liking, sub subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys are doing your due diligence because we are almost at 1K at the time of this recording. And that's fire because that was a goal that I set out early on in the year when I made this channel. Um, and if we can do it before 2021 hits, then that means that I would have done this within the year I made the channel and it wouldn't have been a full year. So food for thought. And that's another little quick tidbit right there. But again, guys, I hope to see you guys in a future stream. Let me know all that and more. Like I said, in the comments, take care of yourself. May the power protect. Keep it locked little right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see y'all next time.